You can combine the power of 3D layers with the timeline to create sophisticated animations directly within ZBrush. This is a great way to develop facial blend shape targets for other animation software. In this example, I'll show you how you can make some basic facial expressions with your model. I'm going to open the Layers palette, and in this model, there are several layers set up already. For instance, I have a Smile layer, which controls the smiling action of the model. And as you can see on the timeline, there are several keyframes set up already. So as I scrub back and forth, you can see the values of the Smile layer go between 0 and 1. In other words, 0 strength to full strength. The sliders in the layer palette control the strength, or you can think of it as the opacity, of the 3D layer. So let's take a look at how we can do this from scratch. I'm going to take a clean version of the model with no layers. I'm going to create a new layer and name it Browse Down. Now notice that this layer is in record mode. So as the record button is on in the layers palette, any changes I make will be recorded in the Browse Down layer. So I'm going to take the Move brush and just nudge the Browse Down a little bit. Maybe bring the bottoms of the eyelids up and flare out the nostrils just a little bit for effect. And all the changes I made have been stored in the Browse Down layer. Once I'm happy with my changes, I can turn the record button off, and now I can test out the changes that I made in the layer. So I'm just turning the visibility on and off. As I have the layer selected in the timeline, you'll see Browse Down listed on the left side. This is indicating that any dots that I put on the timeline are going to control the visibility of the Browse Down layer. I'm going to put a keyframe at the start of the timeline, I'm going to move to a later point in the timeline and turn the visibility of Browse Down on and add another dot. Now notice as I scrub back and forth, we're going between 0, in other words, visibility off, and 1, visibility on. I'm going to set the Browse Down to a negative value, and this is going to raise the eyebrows up a little bit. So we're going in the opposite direction now. I'll set another dot on the timeline. As you see, I'm scrubbing between 0 to 1 to negative 0.3. The dots in the timeline control the visibility or the strength of the 3D layer. In this version of the model, I've created separate layers for the left and right brow and the left and the right side of the mouth. I'm turning these on and off to test how they are. By toggling the visibility of these layers on and off, I can see how they affect the animation of the model. Now if I want to make some changes even after creating the layer, all I need to do is select the left smile layer and turn the record button on. Any changes that I make to the model are stored in the left smile layer. In this case I have four layers, but you could create a layer for each muscle in the face if you wanted to. And remember, the layers go with each subtool, so you can create a very sophisticated animation where each subtool has its own set of layers and its own set of animation. It's not too hard to create very sophisticated animations within ZBrush. For example, this heart created by Dave Wolf. 